Hello, this is Sadhvi. The topic of our discussion in this video tutorial is uh, Uniform Convergence and Continuity. In our previous video, we observe sequence of a continuous function may or may not converge to a continuous function. For example, here we have a sequence and uh, each function in the sequence is continuous. But when it converge to it is limit, this limit function is not anymore continuous. This is a bit strange behavior under the pointwise convergence that uh, a sequence of continues as n getting larger and larger that become a discontinuous function. However, this uh, behavior is not permit under the uniform convergence, which is the main topic of our discussion today. So here is our main theorem which says that if we have a sequence which converge uniformly to a function f and the each uh, function in the sequence is continuous at c then the limit function also must be continued at that point c. So let's start the proof. So I will begin the proof by writing down what is given and uh, what we want to show. Given there are two assertions which are given in the statement of this theorem. The one is the sequence of function is converges to f uniformly. That is the first assertion which is a given that the sequence is converges to uniformly on the set A. The second assertion which is given that each fn of x is continuous is continuous at x is equal to c. So these are the two assertions which is given in this statement. Uh, what we want to show, we want to show that the limit function f of x is continuous at x is equal to c. So this is we would like to show. So I will start the proof from the given statement. The first given statement is uh, the sequence fn converges to f uh, uniformly uniformly on A. Now I will use the definition of the uniform convergence. What that means? It means for every epsilon for every epsilon positive there exists or we can find n which does not depend on x. It only depend on epsilon and it is a natural number. Uh, so that so that the difference between the sequence and it is limit which is f of x this is less than epsilon when n is bigger than or is equal to that capital n so this inequality is true for all n which is bigger than or is equal to capital n so in particular this inequality is also true for capital n So this is the particular case of the above inequality and I will mark this as equation number one. This is an important equation for me. Now I will use the second assertion which is a given. So it is a given that each fn of x is continuous at x is equal to c. This implies if each fn of x is continuous it means f capital N of x is also continuous is continuous at x is equal to c. What does mean by continuity? I will use again the definition for every epsilon positive we can find or there exist this time a real number delta so that uh, so that the difference uh, of f ends of x and f ends of c this difference is less than epsilon when the distance between x and c is less than delta this is an another important uh, inequality for us i will mark this as equation number two and this is coming from the continuity of our this function now to finish the proof i will consider so consider 
the distance between f of x and f of c and i would like to make this less than epsilon when the distance between x and c is small i will do some manipulation so i'm gonna first subtract f ends of x i'm gonna also add f ends of x i'm gonna subtract f ends of c and then i'm gonna also uh, add f ends of c and then f of c is already there so i'm adding two term and also i'm subtracting two term now i will pair these term and use the triangle inequality so this will make less than is equal to f x minus f ends of x plus f capital n of x minus f capital n of c plus f capital n c minus f capital f c now observe this inequality is less than epsilon by equation number one this is less than epsilon by equation number two but this is only less than epsilon when x minus c is less than delta so this is the restrictions when this is less than epsilon and this is also less than epsilon by equation number one and now we see that why we need the uniform continuity because uniform continuity this n does not depend on c uh, does not depend on x so in uh, place of x we can replace even c here so each of them are less than epsilon so if i add them all i will get the three epsilon but i would like to get epsilon so in order to do that i will divide this by three so i will just fix something and instead of choosing epsilon i will choose epsilon divided by three so i can fix all the inequality here by making a different choice of the epsilon at the first place now this will become less than is equal to epsilon and this is only true when x minus c is less than delta so in summary what we have uh, proved basically f x minus f c this distance is less than epsilon when the distance between x and c is less than delta and by the definition of the continuity this implies this function f of x is continuous at x is equal to c because this is the definition of the continuity of the function and this complete the proof of our theorem so it means that if we have the uniform continuity of the sequence of function then the limit of function must be also continuous uh, here I have one quiz problem for you to practice. Please pause the video for one and two minutes and work on this problem. This is also the end of this video. Thank you very much uh, for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.